today's video guys, I'm going to show you the fastest and best method on how to check your keyboard pulling rate, how to overclock it to make it even more responsive and therefore get the least amount of input delay and also some additional tweaks which will help you to reduce your overall system latency. If you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and what are we going to do in the first place is actually check the real pulling rate of our keyboard guys. I have here as an example the RK61 and also of course my Apex Pro TKL. And why it's so important to have like a high pulling rate is guys, if you have as an example, a keyboard with only 125 Hertz guys, you're gonna have seven milliseconds more delay than a person with maybe a thousand Hertz. And I'm also going to show you how you can overclock any keyboard basically to a thousand Hertz. So therefore you can make sure that you have the highest employable pulling rate and therefore less input delay. You can get this pack here over on my website guys, just simply click onto it, go onto input delay. And then once you get redirected guys, there should be a post here on the top with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail. So therefore click onto it and then you should get redirected to Google Drive. Also make sure to check out all of the other videos here guys, since they're super useful. And once we get it here on our PC, we're gonna extract it all. And the first one we're gonna take a look at is Keyboard Inspector. We're gonna open it up, click onto the exit, and then it's already running here in the background guys. And once we see this window here now, yeah, we see here on the right side, start recording. We're going to click onto it. And now we're going to start to click super slowly, you know, and like kind of in a like rhythm, we're gonna click onto our keyboard. Once we're done with it, we're gonna click onto stop. And then we're gonna check your pulling rate, click onto analyze, and you can see definitely a thousand hertz. So therefore, even though my RK61 is more on the budget side, this keyboard still has a thousand hertz, which is amazing. If it would say something like 125 or 250, 500 hertz, I'm still going to show you how you can overclock it. So then we're already done here. I can also show you as a test here, the Apex Pro TKL, so you can see that it's actually legit. Because the Apex Pro TKL 100% has a thousand hertz, I'm going to click here a little bit, you know, Going for the test, then we're gonna go on to analyze and we can see definitely 1000 Hertz. This is true, so therefore we're going to stop it now here and click onto Hedus BF guys. Then we're gonna go onto driver and then we already see a setup.exe. We're going to click onto yes. And now we're kinda here asking ourselves, okay, which one do I wanna overclock? I'm gonna go here with the Apex Pro TKL. And then we now have USB input device and USB composite devices. And if you're not completely sure which one is your keyboard and which one is your mouse, I'm going to click now onto restart and you can see if I click onto restart, I can move my mouse there for a second. So I know this one here is my keyboard and we're going to take a look. I already put here to a thousand Hertz for you. It should say default or some other stuff. You're just going to select here now the other device, which is logically then your keyboard and going to go here onto the bottom line and put it to a thousand Hertz, click onto install devices. Then it should like refresh real quick. And then you're gonna click on to restart. And once it restarted guys, you should now have your keyboard set to a thousand Hertz, no matter which one it is. And if it doesn't support 1000 Hertz, it's gonna go automatically to the highest available. So therefore, once you're done with it, you can again go here into keyboard inspector, you know, and go through the same procedure, just simply start recording, click a little bit so you can get like kind of a nice precise um, result here. Click on to stop, pulling rate a thousand Hertz, boom, and we're already done. Then we also have here mice and keyboard latency. We're going to click onto it and we have a very important reduced latency registry tweak, which we're going to apply, which is going to reduce the input delay of our overall system. And the same here guys as well with keyboard tweak. We're going to apply it, click onto yes and mouse, apply it real quick and click onto yes. And now we fully tweaked here our PC for the least amount of input delay on our mouse and keyboard. And now we're basically done here and I hope that you enjoyed it. And every time before I actually hop into Fortnite guys, I open up no ping here and make sure that I enable the boost FPS mode and actually also the turbo games mode, which is going to reduce the input delay of my keyboard. And in addition to that guys, no ping can also help you to reduce the ping of any game you wanna play. As an example, if you're gonna search here for Fortnite guys, we can click onto it and it's gonna showcase me the best server in my near, which would for me now be here London 02. And you can see on London 02, I get only 23 milliseconds seconds delay whether on Frankfurt 17 or any of the other ones guys where I would get 26 milliseconds so therefore this already helped me to get three milliseconds less ping guys and then we're only going to click here onto optimize game and we're already fully connected to the server with the least amount of latency in my near guys just simply let no ping run in the background you can boost your fps reduce the input delay and get less ping and by the way with the link in the description guys and my code you can get 20 percent off as well as the seven days trial guys and you can pay super easy via paypal so therefore this is an amazing tool and make sure to check it out and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would upload so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace